none was more shocked than the East German ruler Erich Honecker. His state formed the Soviet Empire's frontier with the West. Honecker's first reaction was to send the Minister of Foreign Affairs to Moscow to protest against this decision. Moscow's answer was, we can't do anything about it. This was unique. It was the first time that Moscow had said anything like this to us. The Poles, like the Hungarians, were breaking with the communist system. Faced with a wave of political strikes led by the opposition movement Solidarity, the regime had given way. I knew that the communist system was finished. The only problem was, what would be the best way to get rid of communism? In 1981, with Soviet approval, Solidarity had been crushed by the Polish army. Its leaders were imprisoned. Now, in early 1989, the government opened round-table talks with Solidarity. The Polish communists were prepared to share power, to discuss a shift towards democracy. Democratic institutions were being formed. They were substitutes for a full democracy. But we were different compared to the other countries of the bloc. We were, in a way, a heretical island. In June, elections were held. They produced a stunning defeat for the communists. Solidarity won 99 out of 100 seats in the Senate. Within weeks, the first anti-communist prime minister in the Soviet bloc took office. When we knew that Gorbachev was thinking about reform, we saw he would not oppose our reforms, and that was important to us. 